I think I know what's gonna happen here. Give me a second here. They will know when something is about to come. And they're going to tell residents, you need to leave this area now. So it's not like Mr. Burns going to, you know, backstab us and say, hey, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I should have told you a long time ago, but uh, you guys have five seconds to look for shelter. No, uh, I think they're going to give us like a couple of hours to get out of Dodge before the bears start launching their stuff. All right, so directed to do so by emergency officials, also are in immediate danger. Determine whether you live in a hurricane evacuation zone by accessing the hurricane evacuation zone finder. No, it, it, it just, when was the last time the rotten apple got hit by a hurricane? Unless, unless they know, you know, by, you know, man-made hurricane or something, but something tell me it's, it's going to be that tsunami stuff that uh, the bear submarine is capable of doing. So, determine whether you live in a hurricane evacuation zone by accessing the hurricane evacuation zone finder or contact 311 212 and all these other numbers here. This is some serious stuff. I, yeah, um, I have to talk to my family about this one here. They live up north. No evacuation plans for all the places you and your household members spend time. Often buildings have floor marshals who are responsible for evacuation plans. Make monitoring transportation plans. The means of transportation you usually use may not be available. Practice plans. Through regular drills, people who practice escapes drills can evacuate with greater ease than those who are unfamiliar with the procedures. If you have pets, consider what you would do if you cannot return home to them. Pet owners should read Ready New York My Pets Emergency Plan for more info. Residents of high-rise apartments, buildings, and basement apartments may face Special risk and should be prepared to evacuate if needed. Basement or when you come in for your performance health assessment, we are going to take a very detailed prepared to evacuate if needed. Basement or vulnerable to flooding. Me Boy, time out. Where's mm -hmm. my water? Mm -hmm. Oh, water here. Hold on. Exactly. They told us two weeks ago. To head to a basement mm -hmm. if the bear launches their nukes. That now they're is. telling us not to head to a basement because there will be a flood. Uh, it, it's just which one is it? That's why I tell y'all, don't be listening to them people, man. You gotta be able to do know what you know what's best for you and your families. First of all, most of all, let's try to get out of these get out of these uh, highly populated areas. A basement in a highly populated area, I don't know what it's going to do for you. Maybe if it's a nuke attack or something like that, it might be helpful. But, you know, in, in the event of a, a flood or a tornado or a hurricane, and even with the nuke attack, you know, it may not do you that much good if you're in the cities. But, you know, it's kind of hard. These people don't care nothing about us. As soon as people get that in their head, They'll realize what's really going on out here. They will flood you out in your own city, in your own place of being, in your own hometown, and get a big check for it, allegedly. I can't go into how I really, what I really know and how I feel about that without fear, uh, having a fear of being censored. So y'all can follow me on Bitch You and Patreon for that kind of content. But anyway, they don't give a damn about none of us. I'm telling you that now. And they'll throw a, a, a bad situation your way real quick, real fast. And they'll capitalize off of it and monetize off of it. And you won't get a dime, a dollar. You listen to these people if you want to. You better start learning and figuring out what's best for you and your family. Let's keep on with the video. Uh, it, it's just, which one is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh... Just get a U-Haul and get out of Dodge. That's all I got to say. Get out of Dodge. Man, um, they're giving you two things here, guys. Uh, rotten apple, the rotten apple. Listen up. 
There's two things that can happen. Tsunami or fire to this rotten apple. That's the two things. And and again, the sleeping giant is trying to be very slick. They don't want to put uh, uh, all this together. They want... Two weeks ago, they were, again, they already post about the one for the fire, the NUKE blast. This one here is going to be for the tsunami blast. They don't want to put it all together, so they kind of did it, you know, two weeks apart. So they gave you two uh, uh, two warnings for one month. If you... If you have that chance to get out of Dodge, get out of it. Get out of it. So, my goodness, basements are vulnerable to flooding, guys. This is this is basically that tsunami stuff that the bear is talking about. What to do when you evacuate? If there is time, secure your home, close and lock windows and doors, and unplug appliances before you leave. Authorities will instruct you if it is necessary to turn off utilities wear sturdy uh, shoes and comfortable protective clothing such as long pants and long sleeve shirts bring your go bag with you do not use an elevator during a fire or other emergency unless directed to do so by emergency personnel if power goes out or is shut off you may become trapped Remember, evacuation routes changes or change based on the emergency, so stay tuned to local news access, nyc.gov. Go to the nearest safe place or shelter as soon as restricted. Excuse me, instructed. If you must go to an evacuation center or shelter, remember to follow the latest guidelines from the, you know what, the three letters. For protection yourself and family from the cold thing. If you are directed to evacuate, make arrangements to stay with friends or family outside the affected area whenever possible. For evacuees who have no alternative shelter, the city will open shelters throughout the five boroughs. Disaster shelters may be set up in schools. All right, y'all. So that's pretty much it. When they started getting to the shelters and stuff, they pretty much you know, uh, given the community resources that the city provide, which ain't about Jack, allegedly. It's just another trap for you to go yourself in. You'd be better off on the streets. I'll tell you that now, man. I ain't been in those shelters, man. And they're, no, they're nothing to play with. They break your sleep. They break your spirit. They give you nasty food. They treat you like crap. People be but And then the shelter system in New York is the worst I've ever been through because... I've been in shelters in New York, shelters in Texas. I've been in shelters everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, God has really blessed my life to be better now. But the shelter in New York, you go there, they bust you all over the city. You can't go nowhere all day. If you have a job, you can hang it up. It's like they don't want you. It's like they, I mean, they, they want your life to be ruined. And if, you, if you're working a job and you have to depend on the shelter system, they're going to make you quit your job. I'm telling you. They don't literally make you quit it, but you end up having to if you need shelter for you and your family because they like telling you you have to wait all day to go to this meeting, go to that meeting, and get this resource, get that help. How are you going to do that if you got to work? And then when you get off of work, that's why they tell you you have to do it during the day because at, after 4 or 5 o'clock, everybody's gone. And you sit in the shelter waiting to be bused somewhere 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, sometimes 11 or 12 o'clock at night. And then they wake you up four o'clock in the morning, and then you got to get back on the bus and go to the main the main shelter where people go and register. It ain't nothing to play with, y'all. That's why that city is so dreadful, and I mean it's so 